welcome back. Today I'd like to welcome you to a segment that I'm calling How Clean Was My Process? If you're as old as me, that'll remind you of a radio show back in the 1990s. I'm doing an assignment for my math class this semester at uni and it's on integral calculus. There's two of them, they're take home and you've got about three weeks to do each of them and they are a lot of work. Here are my workings. That's a lot of paper. This one here is a question that I'm not completely happy with yet. And this is the rest of it. I don't know, there's probably 50 sheets of handwritten notes there and they're not very attractive. Why do I want to make a fuss about that? Uh, there is a noise in maths and I think we think that if you're fast at mathematics, you're good at mathematics. But my reading increasingly leads me to suspect that the real strength as a mathematician comes from your ability to sit with a problem when you're frustrated and you don't know how to do it. In fact, it's more about resilience and patience, which if you think about it, is slowness. It's the opposite of fast. So my process here isn't particularly clean. In fact, it's very messy. This is the stuff that actually hit the literal floor. Stuff that it was so bad, it was like, no, I'm not even gonna include this in my list of potential solutions. A Couple of the questions came to me fairly quickly, but the rest of it, actually took work and I had to engage with the textbook and the lecture material and had to go off to Khan Academy and WooTube and Black Pen, Red Pen, uh, without which I would have been lost. I want to focus on one particular problem I had, which is one over x squared minus x. Now, the first part of the problem asked us to evaluate that using partial fractions and I worked that out. The second part of the question was to figure out another way of doing that. Well, here are some of the ways that I went about trying to do that, which is to say all of the ways, and none of them really worked. Ask your tutors, check the discussion boards, look at all the things. Really clever way of rewriting this is one over x squared into one minus one over x. So then you do a substitution. U is one minus one over x. Du dx is just one over x squared. So the integral becomes one over u du which is brilliant. So that's clearly log of the absolute value of u plus a constant. And that derives to the same answer as we got the first time. The whole purpose of an assignment like this, of course, is to make you engage with the content. If it was easy, you could do it in half an hour. Hope that's been helpful for you. Leave your comments in the feed. And here's Louie.